Hi guys, happy Saturday. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guy. And I am back with you guys with your bonus read for my earth signs. We're going to be doing it the same way I did it yesterday, which was August 26th, where I basically was doing the element signs of the zodiacs. So I'm going to be starting with Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then after this reading, I'll be going over into air. After that, I'll be going into water. And then lastly, I'll be finishing it off with my elements for fire signs so if you like to stay tuned and see what we have in case you are cross watching then definitely come back to my other videos that i'll be posting at some point later today or early into the morning depending on my connectivity as well as how the reads go so again i thank you and welcome you all for coming back to me if you're a returning viewer and if you're new welcome 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 you all are invited to be a part of my soul family so if it, if you haven't already done so please do click the red subscription button to the side to subscribe to my channel i look forward to having you a part of my soul family so let's get started and dive right in i'm just going to be shuffling the deck um we're gonna do it three times just to be sure we get accurate reads i mean it's all going to be accurate what comes out is meant to come out but you know we just want to be sure sure so one more time i hope you all have been off to a great saturday enjoying your time with your family and if you are just getting into sunday good morning Okay, so we have the lovers at the bottom for my earth signs for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So what I'm getting here right now from the energy is that someone is definitely, aside from what the card says, that there's lovers involved, but someone is involved with someone who could possibly at this time um, be questioning um, their lover, they could be trying to see where they stand at as far as the relationship go. This could also be a situation where you guys have only been romantically involved and someone actually wants to elevate the relationship, but is not sure of where you guys stand. And so they don't want to move too quickly or hastily, hastily um, with the, you know, um, relationship at where it is at this moment it is not official it's just something that you guys have been doing from time to time it's not anything regular it's just more so periodic and so someone here one of your signs one of these signs cross watcher as well wants to see where this can go someone is definitely done trying to you know juggle their mind in the thought process of how they've been feeling um either when you guys are around each other or when you guys speak on the phone text message um you know dm um email someone is definitely you know or skyping zooming duo whatever it is that you're doing timing you're definitely you know really intrigued with this person you're intrigued with their mind and you want to see if this person is open to a possible real relationship something that can become something more than what it is at the time but you don't know what this person really truly has going on how this person really feels as what as far as you um, and if they could be dealing with someone else. So let's get some more cards and see what we have that actually comes out. Spirit come through for us for the element earth signs. What do you have for us? What should we know? Courthouse. So you guys could possibly be, someone could be thinking um, that they are willing to take this to another level, possibly have a um, marriage that takes place at a courthouse, or this person at this time could not be thinking of to that extent because they could be going through some court legalities where they're not really concerned at this time with making it um, more so official because they have to get some other things out of the way and situated before they could even think about 
about things like that they could um this person who you're dating could be someone who's actually just open to being friends at this time with a little bit of benefits added on or just the benefit even if it's not sex involved it's more so like just the benefits of having you as a comfort to talk to you know you could be someone that's a really good um, talker communicator all as well as listener you could be someone who's really inviting um and so this person enjoys your company as far as um you know your intellect as well as you know your um humor sense of humor but they could be going through some things and if not then with other situations someone is definitely thinking about um getting married but not more so a traditional but a courthouse marriage Because someone is possibly in bad health. They could have someone who is in bad health at this time. Or one of you could be in bad health to where you're definitely not in the position or they're not in a position to really take it far at this time. Um, someone could be um, in bad health because of some things that's going on or taking place where they're really stressed stressed out with this court situation that they're dealing with and so it's definitely not on their mind to you know elevate this at this time they don't want to be selfish to you or you don't want to be selfish to this person you're looking more so to take your time someone could be of the age of 31 they could be could have began having health issues at 31 or um you know, this could have been going on for 31 days, which is a month now that they've been battling this um, situation with um, the court system and um, being under a lot of stress where you sh you probably or should already know about this um, situation that they're going through, which is why you guys have been in communication. And if you didn't know, that is a part of the reason that they've been in communication with you more f frequently um, is because you are taking their mind off of the situations that's at hand with them they could be really really worried about it yeah this could be someone who um ended up having health issues because of a work place um that they whatever the health field they could have been in the health field yeah this could be someone who was in the health field and they ended up getting sick um at work uh, from exposure as well as um you could you could as well this could be your situation where you are working um as a healthcare um provider um of some sort whether it be a doctor a nurse you know a medical assistant um a registered nurse to whatever degree um you know lvm all of those things um tied in to nursing you could be um as well as a surgeon um you know you could be a dentist whatever it is that is actually um a public service to you know the general population in order to help or better their um you know their health then that is what you are working under at this time and you could be battling health issues or they could and it could be really stressful at this time so if it's you this person doesn't want to put too much on you um you could also be have incurred a um, health issue because of a health matter that you had and you're having to sue at this time um someone that was a medical physician I'm getting at the work that you do could be really strenuous mentally, but not physically. This person definitely wants to come in with the offer for you. They want to give you with something they want to, um, or they view you as a blessing to them. But at this time, um, they don't think that it will be the best time to move forward. They just want to make sure that they're able to let you know that, especially if you express, express this to them, they do want to let you know that they view you as someone that they could be with long term. It's just that you guys have to work out some things at this moment, and then you'll be able to double back to this situation. And hopefully, whatever the gift is, they'll be able to, at a later time, elaborate on the true meaning behind it we have high honor 
this this is someone who really respects you someone who view you as someone who's very respectable someone who is you know um in a position of leadership or you carry yourself as a leader or um, of such and this person um holds you up on a pedestal where they don't want to you know mislead you or send you in the wrong direction um by some different mishaps just because of whatever the um, situation is that they're battling or you are they want you to know that um, you are valued by them and that they want to take things at a slow pace in order for both of you guys comfortability um, to match each other's and then at a later time you guys will be able to move forward you guys could possibly be moving forward within the next five months there's just some things you guys have to work out yeah five months or so is in a distant horizon if it's not five months five to six months you guys could be um working things out between you two so i'd say that's between january and february that you guys could possibly be coming back together um where this health issue or this legal matter will um have been resolved i'm just gonna take one more card and close this reading out for you Yes, they respect you. You're a privileged lady. They see you as someone who's definitely um, well-respected, someone who it carries yourself to um, not only do they, but they you carry yourself at a high, high regard. You are someone who's very sophisticated, someone, um, you know, who likes the finer things in life. But you're someone who's also humble, someone who's very elegant. Um, you could like to dress very elegant, but in a simple matter, manner, <laughs> um, depending on the matter at hand or the place, you know, that you're going to, whatever the occasion is. Um, you could definitely know how to dress it up when you need to. This person definitely considers you a princess or a queen. This person can want to show you the finer things in life or you have already been exposed to those things. You could like flowers, but things around you aren't blossoming at this time. And that could be because of your situation or theirs. Or you could be down because you know this person isn't at this time ready to move forward in the way that you feel like the pace has been going, um, has been slowing, slowing you all down and that you should be further ahead but it is going to come in um, the way that you're expecting it to. It's just going to take a little bit more time. This person is getting their life together or they're w awaiting you to, you know, finish getting your life together so that you guys can align and be on the same exact page. You are already are as far as emotions, but it's just like physically, um, you know, working out those different fundamentals those different you know things that you guys have to take care of in order for you guys to make sure that you're being responsible as adults we have the number 12 someone could be born in the month of december something could be taking place in the month of december um you could speak if you haven't spoken um about this matter you could speak on or touch on it in december so just be out be on the lookout for that and be open-minded but make sure that you go out you know um take your mind off of things take some time to yourself remember to you know take care of yourself um go and buy yourself some nice teas that you like um you could be someone who likes tea um as well as just someone who likes to sit near um a window and you know gaze meditate look at nature be in nature as well you could live in an area where there's a lot of green trees a lot of you know beautiful green pastures just in general but it could be hot in that area at this time but in that area the flowers do blossom really beautifully in the springtime so yeah that is what i have for you for my earth signs for capricorn taurus and virgo i hope that this video resonated with you and if it did please do like uh, my video as well as 
subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if not, I look forward to seeing you later. I'm sure you'll become a part of my soul family at some point. There's no rush. Um, so I'll be seeing you later. Continue to have a great, blessed, and fulfilled Saturday. And if not, great start to your Sunday. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.